Anthony Showtime Pettis. Welcome to a brand new video, people. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Anthony Pettis, of course, is set to face Donald Cowboy Cerrone in the prelims for UFC 249, which is scheduled to happen on the 9th of May, Saturday. Man, I cannot wait. I feel like it's been forever since we saw... It has been forever since we saw... Uh, since we had a fight, a fight card, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. Of course, uh, Anthony Pettis and Donald Cerrone, they're kind of like on the tail, tail end of their careers. They're on losing streaks at the moment. Anthony Pettis on a two-fight losing streak, one of them to Nate Diaz, and the last one to, I believe his name is Diego Ferreira. And of course, with Donald Cerrone, also on a losing streak, three-fight losing streak with Cowboy losing to... Tony Ferguson, Justin Gaethje, and then lastly, Conor McGregor. So, I mean, this fight is going to be, it's a, it's a very important fight for both guys, you know, who is going to continue on that losing streak and who is going to get back to the winning column. And that's what we are going to find out. In the meantime, though, we are facing, nope, no touch on that one. We're facing Michael Johnson. Starts things off with a roundhouse to the body. I might end up having to switch to Southpaw. Yeah, I, I really don't want to give him my body wide open like that. So I might end up having to switch to Southpaw. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. He's doing a very good job of blocking, I'll tell you that much. Landing a good series of strikes here. Nice jab by Pettis. If he keeps throwing a roundhouse like that in tight, he's going to get dropped because I am throwing hands. I'm trying to see if I can take advantage of that. Excellent job of landing punches here. We're going to go southpaw right here. I don't want my body wide open for this man like that. Nice kick there by Johnson. See that? The way he's throwing those kicks in, in tight. I could end up rocking him if he keeps doing it right there. Shit. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Johnson gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Nice punch by Pettis. Rocked. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that came Yo. Yo. That boy Doc. Look at you know these kicks are coming. Boom. Oh my god, he ducked directly into a front kick and died. Ah, oh, that was emphatic. Boom. Oh, he shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have done that. Take a look at this from a we killed him, rocked them at first, and then boom, clean. I'll take it. Leave a and like for that UFC one. That was crazy. Be a hard guy to Let's move on. Getting it done by way of knockout here tonight. What a finish on the sport. And now our tale of the tape for this light. All righty, we are facing the diamond Dustin Poirier. By the way, by the way, if you guys are not follow, following me on Twitter, go right ahead and follow me on Twitter at MarshallMind1. I'm currently doing a challenge. I don't know if you guys saw the clip that was posted by Mike Tyson very recently where he was throwing a sick-ass combination. I believe the combo he threw was a jab cross lead hook and double lead hooks to the body a bob and weave to the right followed up with a cross it was a beautiful combination i'm gonna see if i can put it up on the screen right here for you guys to see it i'm currently doing a challenge on my twitter where i'm asking you guys to recreate that combination as accurately as you can and then send it to me and then i'm gonna make a video featuring all of you guys clips so twitter Thank you. Twitter at MarshallMind1 if you want to participate in the challenge, folks. I'm going to leave it up for the next three days or so before I compile a list of everybody that sent in their own footage. I've already had a few people send in theirs. 
I'm noticing that a lot of people, you know, because they don't have access to bags, you know, they're not going to the gym. A lot of people are having to shadow box it. That's okay, you know, if you don't have access to a bag or a dummy or you don't have anybody to hold pads for you, then just, just shadow box it as, as accurately as you possibly can and we'll go with that. This dude is switching from, from Southpaw to Orthodox. That's, I see he wants to stay in Southpaw now. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He oh, and as you guys can notice right there, forgot to mention, I am playing this one with the HUD turned off. I just, I don't know. A few of you don't really like me playing the game with the HUD off, but I just, it's more interesting to me. It just is, so. I'm just gonna do it the way it's more interesting for me, the way it's more fun. And those of you that don't like it, I, uh, I apologize. I did leave the grappling HUD on. I didn't turn that one off. Just the, just the regular HUD. I just, I don't like. I don't want to see it. I, don't, I just, I want to focus on the fight. Just leave it at that. Like this is clean. I love the way this looks right here. I'm not watching the stamina. I'm just playing, using my knowledge of the game to know when I am overexerting my character. You know. Broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Pettis gets caught with that punch. It's pushing me now. Oh, people had the same idea. Oh wow! Boom! Beautiful. He returns. He returns a favor. He catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Under a minute to go. Anthony Pettis with some serious body shots. Absolutely, Joe. Debilitating shots to the body. Oh! Caught me with that one. The diamond has some really nice boxing. Oh, I mean, the way his hands flows. Okay, he's getting lit up here. What? Lands flush with that right hand. Relax right here. Starting to push me a little bit. We're just gonna calm down. Just pick the shots. Okay. Very good first round. If I had to guess, I would say I won the first round. We were able to land more of the cleaner shots there. Keep it going. Keep it going. Twitter at Marshall Mind One. If you guys have not followed me, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, for God's sake. I'm gonna be doing these challenges more often. Anthony Pettis is one of the best kickers in mixed martial arts today. He has excellent hands as well, but what really shines from Anthony Pettis is his kicking. He also has a very highly underrated submission game. That is very true, Joe Rogan. That is very accurate. To punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Woo! Clean. Spinning on that man. We're gonna slowly start going showtime on him. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet he has been unable to string together any solid combination. Get him gassing out a little bit. Looking for that spin again. If I can get some space. There it is. No, I'm looking for the yacht. There it is. Come on, baby. It's time to go showtime on this man. That's it. Oh, that's it. That is it. <laughs> that is the get the hell off me combination that is the get the hell off me combo when they're moving forward and you intercept them with that cross boom and you follow up with the lead hook oh it's a beautiful combo i love that watch that look at that cross boom right hook at the top of the skull his forehead 
sit him down, and that's Let's it. Take a look at that again. Boom, boom. Had that man's head rattling. And here it is again. And then we'll finish him off. Beautiful. Boom. And then he's We're going to do one more fight. One more fight. Call it a day. Well, hard to perform. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Now we go. And now our tale of the tape. All righty. What have we got here? Showtime versus Cowboy. This is the fight right here. This is the fight. I'm still I'm still convinced that the fight is not I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, when you take a look at it, it's it's fairly clear that Donald Cerrone is having it a lot harder lately. And you know, they're both on a losing streak, but I mean, Cowboy has lost his last 3 fights by TKO. Meanwhile, Showtime lost by the si What the f Stop it. Stop it. I was going to say Showtime lost his his fight against Nate Diaz by decision. I mean, he got completely I mean, he got beat handily. And the uh, last fight against Ferreira, he lost by submission, rear naked choke. So That strike blocked by Cowboy but Cowboy has lost by TKO. He's been stopped. He's been stopped three times in a row now. And those were bad, bad, bad TKOs too. They really were. I mean, Tony Ferguson damn near took this man's life with the damage, the amount of damage he did to him. And of course, Justin Gaethje caught him with that beautiful pull counter and finished him on the ground. And Conor McGregor broke his orbital just... Absolutely shattered the dude. So I don't know how all that's going to play out while fighting Anthony Pettis, a man that he already lost to. I don't know where his confidence is going to be at this point. And as you guys can see right there, I'm in Southpaw trying to see if I can replicate that, trying to blast his body with that roundhouse. And this cowboy is just looking to knee me. Trying to go for the knees and... Boxing way too much. He's doing a great job of being I get the fuck off me combo. Up here. Nice punch there by Pet. This is beautiful knee to the body by Cowboy. Come on, stop it. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Pettis. He's fainting with the punch. Tags. Don't do that, bro. Opponent... Oh, Alright. We'll keep doing that. Can I get a rock? Dude, stop going to my body. What the hell is wrong with you? There it, there it is. Ooh, beautiful. Sit him down with that. Get right back up. And he switches right back to... He switches right back to orthodox. This is funny. There you go. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! 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 Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes! That is exactly. Oh my god, why? Look at this! Boom! Where you at, MMA game? I am sending this one to you, brother. Where is that top 50 knockouts? Boom! This is crazy, dude. Look at that. Beautiful hand handstand roundhouse. Look at that. Boom! Clean. That is showtime, baby. And we got our thumbnail, too. If you've not left a like on the video yet, leave a like for that one. I deserve it. I've earned it. Golly. All right, people. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. It means a lot. Once again, follow me on Twitter at MarshallMind1. On Instagram, it is at MarshallMindArt. To check out my brand new artwork, which prints will be available for that very 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 soon but that's it man thank you for watching i'll see you guys later with a brand new video as always keep yourself safe
have a wonderful day. 255 pounds was the right decision. Tonight's result certainly speaks to that. Mm -hmm as Showtime Pettis does it yet again and remains one of the most exciting fighters this octagon has ever hosted.